Hi, my name is Noah Lynch. I'm a junior at Jackson High School, and my project was testing the effects of cold plasma on seed germination. So 99% of the universe is plasma. Most of it is normal plasma, but then there's some hot plasma. Um, so plasma is like pretty much everywhere. It's in your TVs, you know, like those neon signs, that's cold plasma. Um, and so plasma, it has been known to kill bacteria and um, viruses and stuff on surfaces, which is helpful for diseases and it can also help plants and seeds like it'll kill the nasty stuff on them but um, it can also it's been found to increase fruit sizes so like applying cold plasma to plants has uh, increased the size of their yield but we haven't really done much with seeds so I mean I researched that so so this one guy named uh, Carl Lemstrom was up in the Arctic and he noticed that seed or trees that were closer to the aurora borealis um, grew faster, like the rings were thicker, which made him think that they grew faster. So he came back and he decided to test this. So he made his version of plasma thing. He took like a net and just put electricity through it over the plants and the fruits and veggies were a lot bigger on this. So, um, but we haven't done much with seeds. So there's been some people that started researching this and they found that when you do apply the cold plasma to seeds, it actually carves and roughens up the seed shell, giving it a greater surface area. If you look at like a picture, like a real close up, like a microscope, like the seeds without it have a nice, smooth, rolling hills kind of shape. And the ones that have the plasma have like just giant spikes jetting up out of it, which increases the surface area, which allows for more water to be absorbed, allowing the plant to grow a lot faster. Um, so by the year 2050, it is estimated that the world population will be 9.8 billion people. And that is a lot. Um, we're around 7.4 billion right now and we're going to need a lot more food in 30 years to deal with this extra two and a half billion. Um, by figuring out how to germinate seeds quicker, we can just grow a whole lot more um, plants in general because one of the slow parts in like the agriculture industry is germinating seeds. They have to put the seeds in the greenhouse and they have to get them to germinate before they can move them out into fields. And once they do that, they can put more in. But if we do this faster, we can start shoving more seeds through, getting more out there, growing a whole lot more, feeding a whole lot more people. So my hypothesis was if seeds were exposed to cold plasma for increased amounts of times, they will germinate faster than those not exposed to any. For this uh, materials, I used three Azorcus Indoor Hydroponics Growing System, like one of those little things with the lights you put seeds in. Um, I use radish and lettuce seeds, two glass bowls, and then two plasma balls with the bulb removed. And to do that, I just use some acetone, twine, a lighter, and a bowl of ice water. So for this, for, to get rid of the bulb over here, I took the, I did that basic, the alcohol twine thing to remove it. I soaked the acetone, or soaked the twine in acetone, wrapped it around really tight, and tied it, and then I lit it with the lighter. And once it had extinguished, dumped it into the cold water, and that got me a pretty clean cut that didn't require me to smash anything, and no one got hurt. So after that, I had the electrode from the plasma ball exposed so that I could get it onto the um, seeds, because without that, like, just having the plasma ball without, or with the glass would do literally nothing because all the gases in there are uh, just confined to it. So I took the bowl, I took the seeds and put them in a bowl and pulled out the electrode and put it, set it right over the seeds and turned on the plasma ball for 15 minutes and then 30 minutes. And then after that, I transferred them to the growing systems and then let them grow for a week and then I collected my data. So here's a picture, you can see the plasma ball, or the plasma ball without the ball, so just the two electrodes sitting over the seeds. I put them in a incubator because that was a nice 
insulated box that we had that was the right size. Um, here is the growing systems I had right after I planted them. All right, so after a week, this is my second trial. Um, this was the 15 minutes. You can see there's around seven that did grow, germinated within a week, and then the control only had two or three. So this had a significantly more grow. So on the first trial, it was a bit janky. So my control, I had seven out of 12 grow, and then my 15 minutes, only two, and then my 30, one, which was not what I was wanting. So my p-values were really high for my hypothesis. Um, and this experiment kind of ruined my p-value for the entire, um, or the, all the tests is like, this one, I was about 0 0.02 away from it being significant. So my second trial was a lot better. Only three grew within a week, and then eight for the 15 minutes and two. Um, so my p-value for the zero and 15 minutes was 0 0.02, which is really, really, really good, because the one that we want to be below is just 0.1. Um, my 15 minutes, and 30, or 0 and 30 was not so good. Those weren't doing good. I thought they would be doing a lot better. And then my 15 and 30, um, yeah, that was really big. So my lettuce did better than all the others. Um, I had to switch to lettuce because I wanted to make sure this worked with all types of seeds, not just radish seeds, and because lettuce tastes better than radishes. Um, so I had one of nine, and then seven and 12, and one of 12, and my p-values were really, just, they were a lot better on this one than before. This, here are my averages that grew out of all three. Graph. So in conclusion, my hypothesis was partially supported. Um, the 15 minutes did grow significantly more, but the 30 minutes seemed to grow less, which I wasn't expecting. About the controls average was about 28.7% compared to the cold plasma for 15, which was 47. So about a 20% more grew. And the ones that grew for 30 were like 30% less than the 15 minutes. So this would be extremely helpful in the future when we can germinate seeds a lot faster, pushing them through those greenhouses, getting more food made, and feeding a lot more hungry people. Um, in the future, um, what I, for future research, I'd like to just do a few more trials just to make sure to get that one kind of weeded out as an outlier. And then others, I would want to research how the plasma affects the DNA of the seeds, if it does. Um, and then I want to also find the right sweet spot because I don't believe 15 minutes is the best time to expose them. I think that there's a smaller or shorter time. And then I think also that intervals would help do it or help them grow faster. Thank you.